All right. Oh my god. We'll call this the big chungus. <laughs> there you go. Yes. The big fucking chungus. What's chungus? It's a glorious day because we're making a Nashville hot chicken breakfast bricking burrito. Yes, we are. Hot Nashville chicken, crispy, spicy, super delicious. Slow scrambled eggs, my favorite kind. Hash browns, yes. Cheese, yes. Sauce, yes. And for Max, my firstborn, what kind of chicken am I using? Breast, baby. Chicken breasts. No, I'm not. I'm not using chicken breasts. I'm using chicken tenders. Is that okay? It comes from a breast, right? You okay with that? Yes. Yeah, I'm not using those uh -huh. either. I'm using thighs, ladies and gentlemen, because that's what you should be using. You're obsessed. All right, kids, let's hit it. You're not obsessed with breasts. So you know how this begins. It starts with a little buttermilk bath for our chicken. So first the buttermilk, then only one thing today. Some sriracha. And we mix. And if you're concerned the only heat this Nashville hot chicken's getting is the sriracha, well, you'd be wrong. There's lots more coming. Now our chicken goes in, and here's what I have. I have chicken thighs, as promised, that I cut up. Because they're going in a burrito, right? So I want these to be smaller pieces. So all these guys just go in. Mush it around with your hands so everybody's covered. Spill on yourself. Spill. This can go away for an hour, two hours. It's all good. Next, our flour. And even though we're not using the flour yet, we're going to deal with it. This is a two-thirds flour, one-third cornstarch. We're going to add a big pinch of salt and pepper, like that. A little garlic powder. Some cayenne. This will be coming back in a minute. We mix. This is our dredge, and it's ready when we want it. Stay there, let's make our hot oil. So we just put in the seasonings for our hot oil. The oil will come later when it's hot. So recipes on the website, cookingguy.com. We begin with a bunch of chili powder, a bunch of cayenne. Let's fucking smoke paprika. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's not even right. Oops. Fucking piece of shit. We begin with a bunch of cayenne. Like a generous amount. Smoked paprika, lovely. Chipotle chili powder, nice. Hit of salt and pepper. Last but not least, some red pepper flakes. Now we're gonna add oil to this. We'll add oil to this when the chicken's all done. Next up, our sauce. Okay, I forgot something. My bad, brown sugar. Couple tablespoons. It's the sweet hot that makes it special. Now the sauce. And our sauce looks like this. Hello, mayo. Hey, ketchup, say hi to your friend, mayo. A little spice in that we'll use some Cholula. What the fuck? Oh. Yeah, give it a shake, bro. Cholula, love it. A little Worcestershire, Worcester sauce. A little more garlic powder, some pepper. We mix. Damn, that is going to be some amazing shit in here. All right, chicken time. All right, so here's the plan. The plan is we take our chicken, what looks like tenders, get rid of most of the buttermilk, you drop it into the flour, you give it a good coat. We're going to double dip these kids because I want them to be super crispy. Sorry. <laughs> Great, now I got an R&B lyric for, for my next back, <laughs> Back into the buttermilk. Chris back in. Hey. Back into the flour. Make sure it's covered well. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Is that a Taylor Swift song? Yes. And then down we go. Right? Ready. So, we can do this. Max, play a little music. Do you remember the other day you were saying, no, it goes into the flour first, then the buttermilk? I don't know. The other day I was confused about something. <laughs> Who cares? We want them coated well. And I'm double dipping. Well, I don't, I mean, we've done it before. I don't normally. But once it gets inside of a tortilla with melty cheese and eggs and stuff, I want to make sure it holds up crispy-wise. So 
you whip through these and we're done. I think it's time to fry. Let's go boys. All right, so we're going to do this in twos because I don't want to overload. Ha! <laughs> I love the smell of fried chicken in the morning. Except it's not morning. So half will go in. Make sure nobody's sticking. It's probably, look, uh, six, six ish minutes, maybe. If you have an instant read thermometer, give it a check. You only need 165. Gorgeous. And my oil's at uh, 370. Wow, those are fat, man. Those are pretty. And, oh yeah, we are so there. All right, so just let them drip a bit. Goodbye oil, goodbye oil, goodbye oil. Out they come. We'll keep them happy right here on this baking sheet with the rack on it. We'll throw our other kids in, and we're almost there. In we go. In and down. Nobody sticks. Beautiful. Remember how I used to be so scared to fry? So scared. Yum-o. Used to be so scared of frying. There they are. Gorgeous. Let them drip. We're gonna cook some eggs and then throw this baby together. All right, our eggs for this. We begin. Butter in the pan, of course. And I believe you heard me say slow scrambled, which I love to do. So two eggs beaten. And they go. And look, slow scrambled means that I don't use a lot of heat. I don't want them hard. I don't want hard scramble. So actually, my pan got a little hot. I've lifted it up off the heat because too much will kind of wreck it. The key really to this for me is just that you keep it moving. When you let it sit, obviously it solidifies and that's it really drying out. So I don't want wet eggs like this, but you can see when I don't move it, they start to cook on the bottom and that's fine, but I just want them cooking on my schedule, not the heat schedule. I mean, I've got the heat turned as low down as it can go on here. And this is the point that I like to introduce my first cheese for this burrito, and this is American slices. Just throw some of this in. Is extra cheesy goodness gonna be a bad thing, anybody? No. Nope. No, it's not. No, it's not. And this cheese will just add moisture and cheesy deliciousness. All right, while the eggs are almost finishing, in fact, I think I'm gonna give them just another second or two then take them off the heat. I can put them back on at the last minute, but let's concentrate on our hot oil. And this is very simple. All we're gonna do is take a ladle or so of the oil from the chicken and add it right there. And then mix. Oh, can you smell that, guys? Look at this gold, that's, it's like red. I was gonna call it red gold, but that doesn't make sense. What, what's the, hey college Liquid boy. Gold. Thank you college boy, see? <laughs> Damn it. And this sludge in the bottom, that, that's the good shit right there. All right, I'm ready to build. Tortilla has been warmed on the flat top. We'll start with a handful of orange and yellow cheese, cheddar and Monterey Jack. That looks good, doesn't it? Perfect. Fine, I'll put a little bit more. Who cares? You live once, then you die. Now we take our eggs. We're going with this. Oh, gorgeous. Oh my God. So, I'm so in love. I'm so in love. Beautiful. Okay, everybody happy so far? Yeah. Now our chicken. And the chicken's gonna look like this, sitting right there. That's gonna be a good thing. Now our hash browns. Let's put just a beautiful, solid little line down. Couple extras, I suppose, wouldn't hurt. Now on the back side, yeah, yeah. Crispy. Crispy. Nice. I might as well use these kids up, right? You know what's next? Hot oil. Oh my God, I forgot the fucking hot oil. Just give me a second to make up some reason. See, this is, now look at, now look, you get to watch this going on here. It does look nice. It's really gorgeous, isn't it? This is the reason, see, I knew. Holy S. Maron, Santa Maria. Little extra. Now, our sauce. And the sauce will look like this. And last but not least, another handful of cheese. Another hand pile of cheese. This is never gonna fold, ever. Just more cheese right here. Look, it's not folding now. It's not, there's no possible way. I'm fucked. 
I'm honestly I'm kind of fucked. All right, well, I think if you get rid of a little bit of the cheese here. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I don't think that's our problem. I think this is my problem. Look, okay, I can do this. I didn't think this would end up like quite this bad. Wow. Max, you wanted a big, fat, <laughs> wide burrito. I think you got it, buddy. All right. Oh, my God. We'll call this the big chungus. <laughs> there you go. Yes. The big fucking chungus. What's chungus? And it's pretty as a picture. Look at it. Pretty as a picture. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. My stomach's going to love it. So much more than just my eyes. You got to scope out your bite. You want to make sure you get everything. So I'm going here. Crispy chicken, eggs. Oh, I see hash browns. Yum. So the hot Nashville is certainly there, but it's dumbed down a little bit by the eggs and the hash browns. Mm. And the sauce. Wait, the sauce. Hold on. I just want one more little bite. Is it such a bad thing? I don't think so. The whole thing must be made. If you're not frying chicken, you need to be. I was scared of it for the longest time. And it's not because I have this thing that I'm so confident. You need an instant read thermometer and a pot and oil and you're done. All right. Whew, I could, oh my. There's the heat. Oh my, my, my. Mm, so good. Thanks for hanging out with us. Make it. Don't make the same thing all the time. Max and Chance, say goodbye to everybody. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. everybody. <laughs> I probably will have Chris Bay even more. <laughs> That's bad. I apologize for that one. <laughs>